Hey everyone, and we're back in Ragecraft. Welcome back, welcome back. So I've gotten a lot of advice from you guys on where the wall was hidden at. Um, and we also did get a chance to talk back and forth a little bit about what we're doing with like an Iron Golem farm. And before we even get any further into this episode, I want to say, I want to give you my apologies because my voice is kind of going in and out. I'm not sick or anything. It's just, I think it's just allergies uh, is causing... Uh, my voice to just not sound good so for whatever nails on a chalkboard I sound like right now you have my my deepest apologies okay so from what I've heard is I need to do a better job about searching around uh, searching down here around it's not on peaceful is it no it's not normal um, do a better job around about searching down here around the pool that's where I heard like mistakes were made right see so we've been in here nothing nothing we check this out okay nothing big nothing important in there um, okay what's this I'm pretty sure we've checked this out too fire res mithril boots I mean some torches those are cool uh, <laughs> I hovered over the book and thought I was hovering over the book and then I thought that the book was enchanted with vines for a second and it's like okay no 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 that can't be right um, our inventory is still so full. Uh, we might have to take a quick trip back to town. Um, <laughs> quick trip. Uh, I promise this isn't sponsored. Um, a very fast trip back to town in order to drop off some of our inventory stuff. See, people were telling me that I need to spend more time on the ground. Is what? Ooh! 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 Did you see what I see? Oh, gosh! No, stop! <laughs> it's okay guys I got it no that was the wrong button it's okay I got it I got it I got it I got it and my speakers are too loud they're always too loud oh my goodness okay do you see what I see do you see what I see is this it is this it is I think this is the wall okay hang on I'm still so sketch because like there's gonna be a creeper that's gonna come down here and it's gonna destroy it and then it's gonna be sad oh there's the pink wall okay rest in peace headphone users um, can I okay we just need to drop something what do I drop 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 I don't know what to drop. I'm gonna drop this sword like it's a that what was that the burning splinter? I thought there for a second it said the burning sphincter. Uh, I, I just apparently I can't read today is what this is about, dude. We were so close then. We've been doing circles around it for the longest time. Okay, so ow ow. We like I would say that we still need to go back through and loot the zone, but like, do we actually need to go back through and loot the zone? Because like we're just gonna find a bunch of chests that look like that. Come, come, God, get, get out. Okay. Um, like, we've done it, right? We did it. We beat it. We got the pink wall. I don't know why I'm still, like, trying to explore this place. Let's get out of here and get to safety. Uh, spider. Teleport. 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 Teleport the zombie. Okay, teleport just me. Yeah, we're safe. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. We're going to turn the pink wall in. Oh, my gosh. There's the magenta. There's green. What is this? This is pink wool. Pink right here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Area defeated Ninja Academy. Very nicely done, fam. Thank you guys so much for the the, the tips, the advice, the the support there. Uh, it feels it feels pretty good to get to get the job done. So there's actually something else that we're going to be doing here. RQ like super fast. Um, we have 12 emeralds, right? And I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure you guys know what that means. I can't do this in my inventory. I need a crafting table, so I can do the block of emerald and we're gonna go we're gonna go get something special right now because that's i feel like i need it after being lost in that zone for so freaking long i need i need something that's just gonna dude i feel so bad for you my my voice is like nails on a chalkboard right now okay emerald block number four all the hype pink wall emerald block what do we get let's check a bow it's called the Nether Storm. It's a power one, flame one, punch three, infinity, fire aspect, knockback five, 
on breaking to Bo. Wow. I mean that, you know how we've been complaining about arrow problems? Hey, this solves our arrow problems, doesn't it? I think it does. That's that's crazy good. Man, uh, like if you look at the top left corner, we're in 1.7.2 because that's when Ragecraft was made for. So we're playing a little bit older version, but wouldn't that bow be just amazing if we could get mending on it? I wonder if we could like, we've got 41 levels, right? We've got 41 levels. I wonder if we could put like, hang on, let me drop some stuff off. Armor, heavy, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, that's it. We're full. Uh, I wonder if we could put like power on it, right? That I mean, like to upgrade. Okay, power two. That should work, right? Right? Oh, I misclicked. I was like, why did that not work? That I mean, it looks like we can, and then that upgrades it from being power one to power two. And it's gonna be kind of derpily named like DL nether storm but it works so let me see can I get uh too expensive to just rename it nether storm okay that makes sense video game do we have any higher um power books uh, um, protection tons of protection protection there's a, there's that power two again can actually can you combine power two books to make power three <gasps> Ooh. You can. Okay, well now we have power three. And then can we go for power four? Did I just miss a power? I saw power two right here. No, wait. That was protection two. Power two is right there. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> There's a power three. Screw this power two. We're going to get power four. Yeah, yeah. This, is good. this bow's going to be friggin' amazing. Okay, there's power four. Now, does that still work? You see that? It flashes for like half a second. It's... You see that? That's so weird. Can can I be can I be fast enough to do the thing? If Okay, hang on. Let me put this down here. See it says enchanting cost 22 for like half a second you see that what am i doing here this is power one going up to power four if i like rename it now it becomes too expensive oh now it's enchanting cost 39 that's still doable right right But why if why does it flash twenty two? I'm gonna need Chad to explain this to me. Obviously, it has something to do with this custom enchant or this custom name that he's got here, right? Like that's obviously the reasoning behind it. But what exactly? Because I've never had anything like that do anything like that, right? It's strange, definitely strange. Well, can we combine these two bows at least in the meantime? Too expensive too expensive can we just like 37 still like this is ridiculous okay cool well that's fine uh we're gonna be doing some other stuff give me a second to get that figured out all right, so like we talked about previously, we're going to be setting up a couple of farms during this episode. So I've been trying to run around and figure out the first farm that I really, really want to get set up is the fish farm. And just so that way we don't have to worry about food as much. That way we can actually fish up enchants and be able to get some enchants that we want. Um, it gives us experience to be able to do a lot of enchanting stuff with. It's just the fish farm seems like a great place to start. So the first question I have with the fish farm is where to get it set up. Um, and I've been running around. There's a couple of rooms um, up inside of our base here uh, like this room that are just blank empty rooms that you know you're supposed to set farms up inside of and then it's like well if we put it inside there then we won't get the outdoor sky bonus and then we won't get the raining bonus and then I'm looking out here and I'm like well shoot like there's still dark places in this map that 
and yeah I know we, we've got some chunk issues going on there um, but there's still some dark places on the map where monsters could spawn and then you know come uh, like assault me while I'm inside the fishing farm and it's like that's not that good either so I was sitting here on the bridge and I was like hmm where do I put this fishing farm at and then I turn around and I see it right there and it's like well if we build a giant platform, and it doesn't have to be that giant, but just, a, just a, uh, enough of a platform off the front lip of our base here, those blocks are all transparent and won't interfere with, uh, I they won't interfere with the outdoor bonus. I don't think they interfere with the rain bonus either. Um, so if we built it here, We'd be able to d take advantage of everything. We wouldn't have to wear worry about badness or monsters or anything like that spawning and coming to get us. And like all of this should be lit well enough. What is this? This is block light. Actually, this is this is a little too dark still. Um, we shouldn't have to worry about monsters coming and getting us because we are inside of our base, right? Like nothing should be able to get us um so yeah yeah i was thinking like what if we do something like build some sort of platform off of right here i don't know i think this makes sense so let's see it is oh and it's even an odd block space so this will make it nice and easy okay so i'm gonna go get more blocks because actually i should have enough um now that i look at it Let's see, we go like that. Ooh, I almost slipped off the edge there. Um, three wide should be, no, actually it might need to be, f okay, so the second thing, and actually this is this just became really, really important. Um, the second important thing that we need to talk about with uh, this fish farm is this is, again, 1.7.2. And there are some of you that are wondering what fish farm am I going to be making since my fish farm isn't going to work what are those are those bedrock blocks I think they are well this should work right okay there are some of you that are going to be asking yourselves the question like what type of fish farm is he going to be making if it's back in 1.7.2 well uh before panda had his fish farm out i actually was working on a fish farm of my own design that was very i mean ultimately it ended up being very very similar to his which is why it was never released um and uh but that's the fish farm that I'm going to be making today. I, I, it looks fine. It looks kind of like a like a maybe I should have like a slope build out to it a little bit more. But ultimately, this will get the job done, right? Um, okay. So what do I need to do here? I need, you know what? I knew I was going to miss something. I knew I was going to miss something, and I need stairs. I need stairs. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I managed to get my stairs. There they are. I also forgot a water bucket and an iron door. So, okay, I think we're all good now. Um, so this is, the, and I'm not going to make this like a full-on tutorial, but I think that this is actually pretty interesting because this is a, you know, 1.7 uh, fish farms. I mean, we're in 1.10 now. Um, so we haven't really had a reason for these guys to exist. There's not really a point to them anymore. Um, but, you know, to rewind time, to, to take a look back and to say, oh, this is what used to, and I have a picture pulled up in my other monitor here, which is what I'm referencing. Um, actually, I think I'm building this backwards. I am. Um, to be able to have this this like i mean i feel like we're going back in time here right so if that's going to the because i whoa oh my gosh that scared me so much oh my goodness you freaking turd i can't even hit him where did he come from okay well that might be a problem okay so if it's on the right then if I spin it around, it's facing to the left, right? So if I put it, if I looked at it from the other perspective, it would be, okay, yes, this is correct. Okay, so then that goes there. I need some torches like this. And again, this isn't meant to be like a full on tutorial type thing, right? And it's like, I'm just sharing this because I think it's an interesting look back in time. 
Um, so then that is like that, and then I believe that goes there with redstone on top of it, like that. And then this is going to be, I need a junk block. There's my repeaters. So that goes, come on. That's there on one tick. Then I need another stone brick. So then the door chills on top of this block. Hey door, you wanna chill there for me? Kick it, thanks. Um, then I need uh, some more blocks. Put that there, that like that. I know, this is so clinical. That there, and that like that, and this like that, and then this does the thing, and it's like this, and... And then, okay, so then the redstone goes there, and then we have our last torch off the side here, and I believe this chills on top of... And there's that trigger. That noise should be really familiar to a lot of people. If you've made fish farms in the past, that's always the timing that those doors open and close on, right? Uh, okay, so then we've got the block here. And then because this is 1.7, I should be able to get the redstone on the side of the other redstone. Maybe. Please. Please. No, it's not going to let me. Oh, yeah. Pfft, it's fine. Okay, so here's our lever to shut the whole thing on and off. Right? Okay. So that's pretty good. Um then my stairs should be chilling like <laughs> I just love the stair. Uh the stairs should be like that. Um but I guess like it's going to be difficult. So there it is. So, okay, I don't have another image of of the build. So this is all from, you know what? I need to get another, I need to get another stair. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at the other side of this build. So that way I don't mess it up too terribly on camera. And we're back for hopefully what's the last cut. Um, I think I have all the materials I need now. And I have that second uh, angle in order to get the thing built. So we need the block there. And then we're going to put some double trip wire hooks here and here. And then because I know you can't see it right now. But because there's redstone on top of that, you know, it triggers correctly. Then I actually got a bunch more pieces of stairs, hopefully, to get these angled correctly so that goes like that and this goes here and then shoot where does this one go um i don't think it matters i think i can put blocks here and here no i can't because that can't have connections okay well we'll just put the block there put the stair on top of it see you see that skeleton jumping around back there again he's coming for me this little this little jerk face we got to Okay. You know what? All of this work in order to avoid skeletons. And skeletons are spawning right friggin' next to us. Okay. So that... Uh, you can kind of see where this is going now. So then uh, the string goes right here. The water will go there momentarily. Um, so then, let's see. We'll have chest, chest, right? And then chest, chest. Which means that our, our hopper string is whenever we catch something it'll go like this which means that needs to be broken then we need our pressure plate there and that's so the water doesn't escape then we can put the water there that looks really good it's not moving uh then we put our glass actually this might be the weirdest part right here um so we need our double droppers one facing up one facing forward then we need another hopper right here and then where does that hopper go huh okay anyway it doesn't really matter at this at this immediate second so that gets broken that gets broken i'm gonna have to build a couple more blocks here off the side then i know that there's a repeater that chills right here on four ticks and then a, just a bunch of redstone hanging out like this and then uh, that connects up to that so here like that I think yeah I mean that makes sense right okay 
wait, we, what if we put the door on this? Okay, so there's that. And we know that we're going to have some glass here, 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 and here. So, okay. We obviously don't have a chest hooked up, and it's obviously going to be this chest. So, let's just put, what, what's the most, we don't care about resource here, some string. Um, let's actually get inside of it. Dude, I haven't even played with this thing since 1.7, and it still works. Well, I mean, still works. We are back in 1.7, so I guess that's kind of an, a needless statement. Um, and then, which one of these... It's got to be into this chat or into this one. Okay, so let me shut this off. Dude, I am so amazed that this thing, like, I, I, again, and I say still works, but like, it's been a long time. So that, it's, it, I mean, it's got to be like that. So then we put the string in here. Oh, that it, it, it stacks. So it's going to be a little bit weird. It's not going to be a perfect test, but. Seems to be working, right? And like it's entering my inventory before it's getting picked up by the uh, by the other. Um, I can't even think of what it's called. By the hopper. So there we go. Uh, let's go get let's go get a fishing pole and actually try this out before the end of the episode. Yay, dude! I'm so excited. This thing is so, so dated now, but it's so cool seeing like, this is old tech, guys. This is old tech. Okay, I've made it back. I brought a bunch of fishing rods with me. So there's still string gumming up the system, but that's fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna obviously put the fishing rods in there. Let's go ahead and scatter out our inventory. Um, let's get myself one clear inventory slot like that. Cool, I even grabbed the fishing rod, and then the string in my inventory will continue to pick up the rest of the string. So then we do this. Please work. Where do I need to put this at? I don't remember where to aim. There's, there, okay, so there's something weird with it. Hmm. Because it kind of works. Is my timing off? I might have, like, wrong timings. Okay, okay. Well, either way, this is going to be the end of the episode. I'll take a look at the fishing farm and see if, if there's something that I could have done wrong. Because, again, I haven't touched this thing in ages. And... Like, cause this, this should work. Is there a, a, a torch I'm missing somewhere? Or is there just a timing that isn't set appropriately? Could be anything. Or should there not be something behind the door? I don't remember. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. This door is placed incorrectly. That's what the issue is. This door needs to be in the closed state. No! Door, come back to me! Ah. I got it. I got it. I got the door. Everything's... No, I didn't get the door! Door, no! Okay, I got the door. I, I know what I did. The door needs to be in... Uh, I placed the door where it's where like the states are wrong it's open state and it's closed state has to be specific positions and i'm user error not machine error it probably still works okay so that means when i'm i'm, I'm looking here back at my reference screenshot so that means when this is like that this should be nope that's the wrong side so i caught the door that time 
Okay, so that means, is it this way then? And then this chills right here. And then, oh, bye-bye fishing rod. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, it still works. Hey, look at that. Just, just my fault. I didn't remember the intricacies of building this thing because, again, it's been like a millennia. Thank you guys again for watching this episode of Ragecraft, dude. We got an emerald block, a pink wool, and we built a fish farm. Like, we are moving up in the world right here. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.